Your Bafang Mi drive was very fast at the beginning, but after months of riding this thing, you start to get used to the performance. Hey, you want more? You want more power? You want more power? Right! So there are basically three types of performance enhancements you can do to your Bafang Mi drive. The safest and easiest option is to start by changing the chain ring size. 46 tooth is the one that comes with your Mi, your Mi drive and this is the standard size. But if you want to increase the torque or top speed, you have some options available. Go. Cool. So if you want to increase the torque, you should go smaller, right? So there is an option there that's really well known uh, in all importers' websites. They're actually selling this Lecky. You know, it's normally blue and it's made of aluminium. It's a 42 tooth chain ring and it's for it's designed actually for if you want to go mountain biking or if you live in a very hilly areas. This will be increasing the torque of your mid drive. Okay, so you might be losing a little bit of a top speed, but it feels much easier when you're pedaling uphill. Go! Cool. But if your thing is top speed, you want to go fast! So you might go and get a much larger chain ring, which is uh, actually two options uh, available from Bafang. Well, so you have a 48 tooth chain ring which is a slightly bigger and you have this enormous 52 tooth chain ring but this it might be suitable for road bike and very few mountain bike frames okay just make sure this will fit in your bike with this also will feel much heavier pedaling especially if one day you run out of battery oh my god you're gonna feel like oh it's you be struggling to pedal with this okay don't think if you set a massive 72 to chain ring, you'll be going fast like 100 kilometers an hour. The internal gears are not designed to spin a massive gear like that. It might be fun going downhill, but pushing on flat or uphill, especially. Oh, forget it. It make it really, really hard for the motor to spin, and we end up destroying all internal gears and overheating the controller. Don't do it, man. <laughs> it's just gonna get a big headache for you, man. The following modifications might be offered by some Bafang sellers, and they will not set the parameters to 100%. They're not crazy. If you're doing this yourself, you'll be voiding the warranty because you'll be overpowering all the electronics. Well, okay, so you can get the USB cable and enable the throttle to 100% at pedal assist level zero, which is amazing, man. The pedal assist is like a boring automatic car. The benefits of doing this modification here is that you can change the gears and control the throttle similar to a motorcycle. You have 100% of a control and 100% of electric power available at any time, yes. Third option, battery with a higher voltage. Well, you can't get this uh, with a normal 48 volts battery, okay? So what you have to do, you actually have to get a, a different type of battery, okay? So you have to get a battery which is not 48 volts, but 52 volts. Well, okay, so a 48 volts battery, it's not 48 volts. So it's actually, when it's fully charged, it would be something around 53, 54 volts. And when it's empty, it's something around 43 volts. So the voltage is varying as you are uh, using the energy inside, okay? So this one is 52 volts. When it's fully charged, it's something around 58.8 volts, okay? Or I can do 59 because I have a control. I know what I'm doing with this battery, okay? But 58.8 volts, you get a much higher RPM. And of course, you'll be increasing all the watts and the torque and everything. But you got to pay for the price, man. Yeah, this thing here, you might end up frying your controller or your MOSFETs. You'll be running really, really, really hot. you just like uh, uh, pushing too hard, everything. And then by doing this, you actually destroy your internal gears because nothing was designed to run all this additional power, okay? So you'll be grinding all your internal
internal gears like I showed this one in previous videos, okay? And yes, you're gonna start to have some mechanical problems. If you don't have any electronic problem, you're gonna have a mechanical problem. You might end up having both problems, okay? Uh, right, so yeah, of course, your importer will find out and be like, oh man, what battery be running this thing here? And you, it's gonna void your warranty. <laughs> it's not designed for this, right? Uh, cool, cool, cool. So, yeah, the biggest problem comes when you combine every single thing you see here, like uh, over gearing and doing some modifications to the controller and increasing the battery voltage. Oh my God, if we put this thing in a combo, it will be a killer combo because it will be killing your mid drive, okay? And that's so true, man. I was very lucky. My setup lasted for 2,300 Ks and it was pushing really hard. But also, look, I'm a very skinny guy in a very lightweight road bike and I pedal really hard. I enjoy pedaling. I like, I, I push as hard as, I, as hard as I can, okay? So if you're just a regular person with a very heavy bike and going in very steep hills and just throttle, you know, good life, oh yeah. Well, no, man, like, you, you, of course you're gonna be destroying even more your internal gears, okay? So you might end up having problems after 500, 600 Ks, or maybe, you know, like 1,000 Ks, but yes, you're gonna have problems. You're gonna be like a braking, fixing, braking, fixing, braking, fixing. Well, is that what you want? Well, if you enjoy it like I do, oh yeah, go for it. Ha oh, ha you're gonna avoid the warranty. You don't care. You just want a power. Oh, if you like my videos, please subscribe my channel. Oh, thank you.